Here's another video that could save you a lot of time and frustration and of course create a extremely nice looking finished product. Now I do need to point out that even though I am going to be helping you locate the um, footing for the bottom of the stairway on your deck, I am this video will not have any information in it on how to build the set of stairs. So um, that uh, can be found at the website and in some of our books. Um, go check that out um, at the website homebuildingandrepairs.com. So without further ado, let's see if I can't provide you with something that's going to look nice. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I've came across a deck footing that is, uh, is, is in the wrong spot. It's too big. You know, it's sticking out past the stairway six inches. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, if you don't know, and I can understand, hey, I don't know where, how to locate it. I'm going to pour the pad bigger and just hope for the best. Great. But uh, um, with, after you're done watching this video, you might have a better way to um, build a better product. So here you can see where everything is nice and flat. Everything's even all the way around. And from a view above, you can see where the stringers are lining up. Everything is nice and square. Now, what I'm suggesting is that you cut the stair stringer first. You can cut one of them. You can cut all three of them. Now, of course, I always suggest to cut one of them. And then you can um, square it up to get it uh, in the right position. Now, for those of you who um, don't know about the 345 rule, I will put a link here so that uh, you can square um, everything up and create a stair stringer that is in the right spot. Uh, that's the whole thing about this video. The stair stringer, if it's off an inch or two to the right or left, it's going to create a stairway that's not going to be square, and that's going to create problems for your treads when you install them they're going to look crooked so not not a good thing you've got to get the first uh, or got to get the stringer squ square off of the deck um, then i would suggest uh, driving a stake in the ground and putting a couple of screws in and then that way you have your starting stair stringer and you can actually stop right here if you want you don't need to do anything else if you can come off of the stair stringer here and and keep everything square then um, you could probably just build the deck footing from here now for those of you who um, aren't quite happy with that then go ahead and add the other stringers or at least add the stringer on the end you won't always need to add the center stringer but uh, some people might want to install it so that they, they, if they need some other type of a guide point, a uh, reference point, just kind of throwing it out there. And uh, another thing you're going to need to do is make sure that these stringers are level. And, um, you know, you cut them, and they're, they're correct. Now, let's just say that they aren't. And uh, you need to lower or raise it a little bit. And uh, um, you're like, well, I don't want to cut another um, stair stringer. You know, it took, took me a long time just to cut this one here. Figure it all out. If that's the case, then simply lower it or raise it, whatever it needs to be to make the step level. And then lower or raise the soil around the um, um, area, you know. So, and obviously I'm not talking if this is down six inches, yeah, you might need to recut a stringer. But if it's down an inch or something like that, you might be able to make the necessary modifications just by raising or, loyal, or lowering the soil. Now let's go ahead and remove the center stringer. And the reason why I'm doing that is um, so that you can actually dig the hole out for the footing and form everything up. So it's going to be a lot easier to dig the hole out without the center stringer. But you can always leave the other stringers in here. That's not really going to be a problem. As you can see here, there's plenty of room. And I just kind of formed it up. I put a couple of stakes in the ground. Um, on the sides here, you know, I'll leave it up to you if you want to put more stakes in the um, side or just put a couple of stakes in on the longer boards and then not on the side. Uh, this isn't going to be, um, you know, you're not going to have a big chance of the 
um, concrete moving this thing because it's not going to be that much concrete. Again, you can see where there's plenty of room here to dig with the stringers in, um, in place. And you can see where the front of the stringer is lining up with the um, edge of the footing with of, of the form board. Now, if you need to move the form out or in, then you can do it um, accordingly. And you're going to be able to see what you need to do here because the stringers are in place. A lot of times people have a difficult time visualizing how, um, how everything is going to be connected together, but that's not really going to be a problem with this method here because the stringers are going to be in place. Now you will need to um, make sure that you allow for the treated lumber if you are going to use that as a method to connect the stair stringer to the concrete footing. And of course we went ahead and installed the treated lumber so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. Concrete is poured, but you can see here that we don't have anything connecting the treated lumber to the concrete footing. And of course, we're going to need some anchor bolts for that. However you do this, um, I'll leave it up to you. You can actually connect, dig your hole, dig the footing, and then um, attach the um, treated lumber to the bottom of the stringers. You can use some screws. You can kind of angle the screws in to um, get everything tight um, and to get a connection in here. And, uh, and then you could attach it to both sides and then drill your holes through the treated lumber and then uh, uh, install the anchor bolts and then pour the concrete. And, uh, um, you know, you might have, that might not be the best way to do it all the time because sometimes you might have some gaps under here because you're not going to be able to finish the concrete as well. But um, it's not a bad uh, way to finish this. You don't have to worry about drilling any holes later. Everything's going to be pre-formed. I just don't recommend that you pour the concrete up above the bottom of the 2 by 4s uh, too much because that could create some type of a water trap. So try to keep this as flat as you possibly can if you do use the method where you install the treated lumber and the anchor bolts before pouring the concrete. If not, install the anchor bolts. Um, you can just kind of uh, stick them in place, you know, at, we pour the concrete and then just kind of, we call it stabbing them in. And then you just kind of set them in there. And if they sink in, um, you know, just kind of keep pulling them up a little bit until the concrete dries and make sure that they are up high enough to where you're going to be able to put the nut and the washer on. Uh, another problem that uh, even professionals seem to go through. So there it is. There's the footing. It's located perfectly. You're, uh, you don't, you're, you've already set the stringers in. You don't have to worry about pouring the footing and then wondering if the stringers are going to fit because you've already done the work. So that is pretty much it for the video here. The stair stringers are everything is nice and even. And again, this is just another method that you can use to um, build better products. And uh, in this way, this is how I would do it. I'd cut my stair stringer and locate my footing and uh, have everything line up um, perfectly. And you are done. You're going to look like a professional if you're a do-it-yourselfer. And if you're a professional, you are going to look like a super master carpenter, the uh, king of the contractors, whatever it will be. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button. That is always sincerely appreciated. Any questions, comments, leave them in the video comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.